Hello guys and welcome back to UK Highland Photography. I'm Strober and today I'm going to be answering a question which I get asked all the time. So if you're an experienced photographer, this video is not for you. But if you're new to photography, then this video is for you. Now, all the time I get asked, what camera should I buy? Or what camera do I recommend? Or what camera should I buy for my boyfriend or girlfriend, etc. Now, this is the thing, guys. When it comes to photography, then the camera does matter, but it doesn't matter that much. Let me explain this. A good photographer can make good photographs with practi practically any camera, okay? That's because photography is all about lighting. So moving on, to answer your question, what camera should you buy? The answer is, with today's modern cameras, DSLRs, then it does not really matter what DSLR it is that you buy. If you buy a DSLR for, let's say, £400, then there's a lot of technology in that DSLR for £400. If you buy a DSL, DSLR for £2,000, then you get even more technology within that DSLR. So does that mean you can take a better photograph with a two grand camera compared to a 450 pound camera? No, it does not. Okay, let's say you've got 2,000 pounds to spend. Yeah, you, you're a big spender. You want to spend 2,000 pounds. If I was you, then I would not buy a camera that costs 2,000 pounds. Instead, I would buy a camera that costs £450 and I'd spend the remaining amount of that money on additional accessories that you, as a photographer, will need. So let me give you some examples. I've just brought my £450 camera. Here it is. It's in my hands, okay? Now I'm going to spend a little bit more money and I'm going to buy an extra lens okay so now I've got an extra lens for my DSLR so that means I can now go out and shoot a little bit of wildlife photography so let me connect that so here we go we've now got a new lens so what else have I got oh let me see how much money I've got oh I've still got quite a bit left I've got over a grand so I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy myself a speed light. You see that? As photographers, we need lights. So I would go out and I would also buy a speed light. And now we can attach the speed light to our DSLR. Now, the advantages of having a speed light is that your DSLR does not have to power a flash anymore because you've got your own speed light which has its own power supply. So, right, guys. With the extra money that I've still saved from not buying the £2,000 DSLR, then I'm going to still go and buy some more stuff for my £450 DSLR. I'm going to buy myself a remote control. Now, this remote control is quite good, particularly if you're into your landscape. Let me show you this. This section here connects onto your DSLR and then this section here stays in your hand it's wireless you can walk away and activate your DSLR from a distance so there we go if you're not happy with that then how about buying some radio triggers photographers these days need radio triggers and how do radio triggers work well simple we get a speed light, we get a radio trigger, and we pop it on here, and then we pop it onto a stand. So let me open this. And there we go, now we can work with flash off camera. Why do you want to work with flash off camera? 
Well, because it helps us control our shadows, okay? That's why we take lighting off camera. So with the transmitter, we plug that onto the DSLR, and now we can set up off camera lighting. So there's additional kit what you can buy for your 450 point camera. So let's put these down and show, oh sorry, before I put the speed light away, then I've still got money left over, so I bought a power pack. A power pack helps your speed light to recycle faster. So there we go. Now I've just improved the recycling time of my speed light. It's now much faster because I've bought myself an extra power pack. You see, as new photographers, you guys don't think like a photographer. Instead, you think more of a consumer. For example, one of the major important things in photography is this. A tripod. How many of you guys have actually thought about buying a tripod with your camera? Not many of you. We all know that to be true. Not many of you because everybody is just so obsessed with buying the top of the range latest camera. Photography doesn't work that way. Making photographs does not work just by your camera. It's all about lighting, guys. So bringing me on to my next product, what you could buy for your 450 point camera. This is called a lens ring. It simply attaches to the front of your lens on your DSLR. And what that does is that allows you to take shadow free photographs. You believe that? This is how you can get shadow free photographs by simply having one light. Again, photography is about light people. So when you guys ask me about what I recommend for your first camera, then guys, please listen to me. Just buy any camera that's roughly around 450 quid. It's that simple. The technology in these 450 point cameras around that price range, the technology is all there for what you need. And remember, it's all about lighting. So guys, please stop asking me what camera or what camera I recommend for you to buy for yourself or for your boyfriend or for your girlfriend because I've just given you the answer by an entry level and instead of blowing all your money on that expensive camera, instead buy yourself extra accessories such as lenses, speed lights, battery packs, remote controls, all this stuff, radio triggers. You see what I mean? Start asking, guys, before I end this video, start learning about how to make photographs first. Start learning about how you set up radio triggers. Start learning about how you work with speed lights, etc. Right, I've had my say now, so thank you for watching this video. Remember to subscribe and I'll see all you guys soon.